Uh, Abraham Lincoln and the Technology of War will be here until July of uh, 2014. You're going to see maybe 40 artifacts, 50 artifacts that, that tell us something about uh, life during the American Civil War and the changes of technology in the war. Primarily just before the Civil War was, was a dynamic period of vast technological improvements. Of course, we're used to computers and aircraft and spaceships today. So if you figure out that same sort of application to the 19th century, you have uh, telegraph, you have uh, rapid-firing weapons, you have uh, interchangeable parts, uh, um, um, photography, trains, just any number of things that changes society and therefore changes warfare. So the artifacts that we have reflect these changes. The um, Henry rifle, uh, it fires I think 14 or 16 shots, where, which before uh, a standard uh, rifled musket, uh, you fire three shots in a minute. Um, the Spencer rifle, uh, seven shots. The uh, telegraph reaches out far beyond the horizon uh, to communicate to armies and how they must transport. Uh, railroads, when it was at one time thought that 25 miles an hour on a railroad and a person's body would fly apart, are now moving vast amounts of material. So all these things that are happening prior to the Civil War and through the Civil War are uh, as a result of technology, and a technology that's, that's based on need. Uh, the photographs we have are uh, just, just like snapshots, uh, tableaus of, of uh, who people are. Um, Gideon Wells, the Secretary of the Navy, uh, called by Lincoln, Old Neptune. Um, you have uh, um, uh, photographs, uh, CDVs, a cart, they, they're called uh, cart de visite, or almost like calling cards, they're not really. But they're little snapshots of people who are uh, either lost to history or were important or uh, inf uh, infamous. We have one that shows one of Lincoln's supporters in the 1860 campaign dressed in his um, oilcloth cape. It was a wide awake. We don't know who he is, but we know he liked Lincoln. Uh, of course, we have John Wilkes Booth. Uh, Prior to shooting Lincoln, this is a CDV he used to hand out to his female admirers, which apparently were legion. Um, after he shot Lincoln, uh, these things were doctored to show the, the devil standing behind John Wilkes Booth and, and telling him what to do and that sort of thing. Um, so the photographs we either use are uh, replicas of woodcuts from the newspapers of the period, or original photographs or artifacts that um, uh, some way give us some guidance into explaining what people were like in the 19th century. Uh, President Abraham Lincoln was a very inquisitive person. Uh, his management style was called management by walking around. He seldom said anything. However, he uh, spent a good 75 percent of his time talking to people. I mean uh, virtually everything. In his case his interest was in machinery and when he was a a lawyer on the circuit, he would stop at a farm and examine the machinery to see how it worked. His, his mind was as intricate and uh, analytical as any you would expect to see. It's from this that he was able to create his patent, and from this that he was able to at least convince some soldiers or some generals they should try these new wondrous machines, even though that they were outlandish, they would change. They might change uh, what happens. Uh, in the war, particularly for the Union. So it's because of his inquisitive nature, uh, his absolute conviction that, that machinery uh, could make a difference, and the fact that he would not be deterred even if the generals, such as General Ripley of the Ordnance Department, didn't want anything to do with his wild ideas. Um, and I think it's a great way to start an examination of how things evolved when Abraham Lincoln was president.